hearing aids come in many different styles. The one thing all of these hearing aids share is the same digital chip that dictates how they operate and how they work. But they just come in different houses, from behind the ear to deep in the ear canal. Behind the ear hearing aids are worn over the ear where the device is behind your ear. There's a small thin tube that directs a speaker into the ear canal. Once in place, hard to see. Smaller versions of what we call custom hearing aids start with the full shell. These are custom made, that is molds are taken of your ears to build a shell that will hold the hearing aid components. As they get smaller, they can be a little bit more challenging to put in the ear canal. This is called an in the canal hearing aid. And the smallest hearing aid is called a completely in the canal hearing aid, where the device is small, it's contained within the ear canal, once in place, very difficult to see. Use a little string to pull it out. And currently we do have something called a completely in the ear canal hearing aid that's even deeper, that goes very close to the eardrum. If I put this in, it will disappear completely. All hearing aids use batteries to get their power supply. Hearing aid batteries are air activated, no more mercury, so that once you peel the paper off of the battery, it's going to discharge. So you only peel the paper off when you're ready to use the battery. For this hearing aid, we're using a size 13. So I'm going to put the battery in the drawer at the bottom drop it into the cup, peel the paper, and give it about two to three minutes. Then close the battery door, and you're ready to go. Your hearing aid battery could last anywhere from one week to two and a half weeks, depending on the size of the battery, which is determined by the size of the hearing aid. Some hearing aids use rechargeable batteries where you would put the battery into the hearing aid and then put it into the charger. Close the charger overnight, take it out in the morning, and put your hearing aid on. Most hearing aids can be cleaned by simply wiping them off with a clean cloth, taking any skin or wax off of the device on this one. You could actually clean this little dome with a damp cloth and it will take any wax or skin that might be interfering with transmission. If you get wax deeper in your thin tube, then we use a special cleaner. We'll unscrew the tubing at the top of the hearing aid. and pass this cleaner through the tube until it comes out the other end, pushing any debris that may be in the opening out, and then reattach. And you're ready to go. With a custom hearing aid, we need to protect the internal components from wax from the ear canal, and we use filters to keep the wax out. The filter of the hearing aid stops wax or skin from getting into your components. In order to change it, you'll use your sticks that can come in different shapes and sizes to change the filter. One end has a screw thread so that you can unscrew the filter. Pull out the filter. 
and press a new one in.